Hey, what's up, guys? Welcome to another Man of the Match player review. It's your boy FIFA Wonder HD here, and as you can see, this week we're looking at Fabio Barini, the 79 rated striker from Liverpool, who got his uh, Man of the Match card playing for the under 21s with a cracking goal against uh, Holland the other day. And, you know, he's a very good young player and he, he plays really well. I've always liked his sort of regular uh, non-informed card. It's been very, very good, I've found, in sort of non-informed teams that I've put together. And this card also very, very good. You know, it's um, he's a good striker in game. He's got a lot of ability. His dribbling feels very, very good. He rides challenges well. His strength, not so great, but that's not too bad considering he's got such a good range of shooting. You know, the long shots, you know, I didn't find it too easy to score with him with long shots, although I did get a couple of nice goals in this in this uh, few clips that I'm showing you uh, on screen. You know, only 72 long shots and 83 shot power means that you're sort of looking just outside the box most of the time. He's sort of the furthest he's going to score from, but... You know, you can pull out a worldie like this, as you're about to see, which is uh, a fair distance, and any sort of player would be proud of that because that is an absolute belter. So he has got that in his locker. He's got some really nice traits as well. I love the tries to beat offside trap trait. I think that's really good. And the speed dribbler is why his dribbling feels so good. A lot of people have commented on how good his dribbling feels. And that, I think, is why. Because he can keep hold of the ball. He's got decent dribbling sort of stats anyway with 83 ball control and uh, 80 dribbling. But that speed dribbler trait just means that he can keep it while running very close to his feet and, and just rides the sort of challenges quite well while he's dribbling. He's got good heading, as you can see there as well. You know, decent heading. He's a very complete all-round striker. And, uh, yeah, so let's have a look at his key stats anyway, guys. He has 83 ball control, 71 curve, 80 dribbling, 90 finishing, which is the best bit of this card. He's got really good finishing, as you can see throughout the clips. 79 penalties, 77 short passing, 77 heading, 80 positioning, 72 long shots, 83 shot power, 85 acceleration and 85 sprint speed, 82 volleys, 82 agility, 68 strength, 84 reactions and 78 aggression. He comes with a 3-star weak foot and 3-star skill moves and a high, high uh, work rate as you can see. Don't be put off by the high defensive work rate. I never really found him out of position. He was always high up the pitch. Though I do think if you have got a sort of 4-5-1, you know, one up front formation, I would avoid him potentially because I think that you would find um, him a bit too deep potentially and with his pace not being absolutely rapid it may be a little bit harder for you to use but you know it all depends on how you play anyway because he is a very good card who can score a good range of goals he um currently going for around 35k on xbox and 30 on ps3 which is insanely cheap for a man of the match card i think it will drop even further because people are put off by his sort of overall being only 79 his pace not being 90, as you know, there are loads of people on Ultimate Team love that sort of uh, pacey player. But yeah, so I'd be looking, you know, if you can pick him up around 20k, 20 to 30k, I think that's where he'll, his price will sort of set. And he's well worth the coins if you do it for that. But I must admit, you can get better value out there, you know. His non informed card is insane, really, really good, and will cost you like 500 coins. So maybe it's worth, you know, buying that card first, see if you like it, and if you work well with that card, you know that this card is a bit quicker, he's got way better finishing, and, you know, a few other good stats uh, thrown in as well. But yeah, so overall, guys, I enjoyed playing with him. He scored me nine goals in six games, which I think is really, really good for any striker. Good range of finishing, like I said before, good dribbling, decent pace as well. And yeah, so he's 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 got you know he's got it all in his locker. I think there's better value out there, but he's a good uh, good player for any sort of Serie A Premiership hybrids that you may be looking to put together. You know, overall, I'd give him sort of seven out of ten. Decent striker, good all round. When his value sort of drops to around twenty k, I think definitely go out and buy him. Hope you enjoyed this review, guys. Please hit like, subscribe, and peace.